Hey Body Positive Yogis, it's Amber Carnes here from Body Positive Yoga and I'm here with Dana Falsetti, also known as Nola Trees on Instagram and all over the internet. So um, Dana's practice has been really inspirational to me and so I wanted to talk with her today so you guys can get to know her a little bit better. How's it going? It's going awesome. How are you? I'm so doing nice great. to talk to you and meet you finally. Heck yeah, it's awesome. Um, so tell us your yoga story. How did you find yoga and how long have you been practicing yoga? <laughs> so I've been practicing for a little under a year now. Uh, it'll be a year in May. So last May I started taking classes at home in Pennsylvania at a studio after I had lost a pretty good amount of weight and retroactively I wish I had started sooner, but nonetheless, uh, I started after losing about 70 pounds and I think I mostly went because I wanted to kind of tone up and I wasn't really building any muscle through weight training at the, uh, at the gym. And so I started yoga cause I was hoping that it would help tone me up a little bit. I was feeling, you know, proud of my weight loss, but also a little self-conscious still of the, you know, the aftermath of the way my body was looking. And I think, I think another part of it was probably I went to Quaker schools my entire life, uh, home in Pennsylvania, and I was used to having a meeting for worship weekly, which is uh, a room full of people in a, in a very simple setting, sitting in silence for, you know, anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. And I don't have that anymore. Living in Louisiana, the Quakers don't really exist here. <laughs> and I think kind of subconsciously I was looking for, you know, some kind of reason to have some quiet time and some inward reflection as well. And... Um, you know, maybe hoping that yoga would give me some of that time back for myself. Cool. Um, why do you keep practicing? And are yoga and body image intertwined for you at all? They definitely are 110%. And I keep practicing, and, and people ask me this question a lot on my Instagram, and I say that uh, I keep practicing because I just kind of have to at this point. Yoga has become pretty much the entire foundation of everything in my life. You know, everything else in my life has shifted so much since I've started practicing and I'm not really willing to go back to, you know, where I was a year ago before I started practicing. And that in itself really keeps me going. And I think the biggest part of that for me was the binge eating. And that was the biggest problem for me always growing up and why I gained all of the weight was binge eating. I would eat until I felt sick to my stomach and then keep eating. And I felt completely out of control uh, I couldn't stop myself and every emotion that I felt, I would just open the fridge and eat everything. And yoga has helped me, you know, replace that habit. Uh, I get on my mat now when I feel those things instead of opening the fridge. And I can finally say that I no longer feel that desire, um, you know, to go for food as the answer. Uh, I'm finally at a place where I realize that that is just destructive. There's absolutely no benefit um, to me doing that. And that's probably been the biggest and the most important shift for me um, because that's been a lifelong um, struggle. And in terms of body image, I mean, obviously that already goes hand in hand. But I think the, the biggest part for body image is just that, you know, that process, that journey of realizing that you're so much more capable than you think you are. So, you know, you step on your mat one day and something feels completely impossible and then you return to it, you know, however long later, and eventually it's easy, you know, or sometime eventually it will come, you know, effortlessly. And that comes from nothing but you and your own practice and your own passion and determination. And it teaches you that patience and, you know, to be non-reactive and, you know, to work hard for things, you know, that you feel passionately about. And when you realize that you are capable or your body as well is so, you know, capable of so much more than you think, you know, that that does a lot, I think, for self-acceptance um, and body image, for sure. Yeah, that's really powerful. Very cool. Um, so you've decided to take uh, yoga teacher training, which is really exciting. I know that yoga teacher training was a big turning point for me, and um, I'm, I'm really excited for you. Uh, why did you decide to become a yoga teacher, and what do you hope to get out of uh, teacher training? Where are you doing your training? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm also a little bit nervous, but I'm mostly excited. Um, I'm doing it for a couple of reasons. First of all, I'm graduating from undergrad in May and I wanted to travel after graduation already. And so I kind of figured, 
you know, why not try and loop two things into one and, you know, find somewhere abroad that I can go spend some time and also do my teacher training. And I kind of questioned myself at first, cause like I said, I haven't even been practicing for a year and, uh, you know, I kind of came to the conclusion that that was nothing but an excuse. And I really had no good reason not to go. I'm super passionate about yoga. I've been teaching privately in New Orleans and I absolutely love teaching. Um, you know, I really feel like I found a passion with this and it's helped me in so many ways that I really feel just compelled to share it with as many people as possible. And, um, you know, I'm hoping that with my certification, that'll open more doors for me to be able to do that. And also just for myself, um, you know, I want to deepen my own practice, learn as much as I can from as many people as possible. I plan to do more teacher trainings, you know, down the road. Uh, but the one I'll be doing, I didn't even say, is in um, Costa Rica. I'm going to Nosara Institute this summer in uh, July. And I'm very much looking forward to it. I've never been to Costa Rica. I've never really done anything like this um, going by myself. And it's going to be a new new, you know, a new experience in many ways. And I'm hoping, you know, mostly just to grow from it, no expectations in particular, just, um, you know, it's an open door and I'm going to walk through it. That's a, uh, it's a big step. And that's really, um, it's really exciting, uh, point for you to be at. I mean, you're in this big sort of transition phase, gra graduating and, yeah. And exactly. um, on, taking on this this huge undertaking of learning. I mean, I my teacher training program lasted a year. Like we would go a weekend every five weeks or so, and I just can't imagine getting all that information in, in a month, which is probably what you're doing, right? That is what I'm doing. Yeah. And so <laughs> that too, because I talked to some some of my other friends who've done teacher trainings, and I was like, look, I don't really know about this kind of retreat style teacher training, I would personally really rather do it over a long period because I agree that you have more time to kind of absorb the information and also apply it as you're learning it and kind of work through that, which is why, again, I would like to do more teacher trainings mm -hmm. at some point. I would like to do longer ones at a studio where I might, you know, continue practicing at. Obviously, I'm not going to stay at Nosara and live in Costa Rica or I don't <laughs> intend to, <laughs> but uh, you know, I thought about that exact thing for sure. So I'm kind of just seeing this as just a general learning experience, kind of less specific to teacher training, even though I'm going to leave with a certification um, and more just for, you know, the sake of doing something new and, you know, learning as much as I can about myself and my practice before kind of going out in the world and sharing it with other people. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> um, so what is your, uh, what's one tip or like your favorite tip for somebody who is curious about yoga, maybe intimidated to try, just wants to get started? Um, yeah. what advice um, do you have? Probably don't wait any, any longer than you're already waiting. Um, because that's my, you know, I don't want to say biggest regret necessarily, but looking back, I really do wish that I started sooner and I didn't because I didn't and think that I was capable of doing it and being in a class was really scary. And it even was after the weight loss. I mean, I'm still a big girl, but it's just, you know, you go into a class, you feel like the biggest person in the room and you're the beginner. So you've got the double whammy of intimidation, you know, and I totally, I, you know, I went through that for sure. And I, and I struggled, I mean, you know, resting in down dog and my shoulders are like non-existent and I'm dying, you know, and everyone, and my hands are slipping and it's like a catastrophe. And you're like, you know, at your brink and you want to walk out, you know, don't walk out. <laughs> like that's probably my best advice. Honestly, don't walk out, just stay in the class, power through it, allow, you know, give yourself some time to build up that strength and get used to the setting and start realizing that, you know, you do have those capabilities. And also I guess find an intention, like find a good reason why you want to practice. Why is yoga, you know, calling to you? Because if you can stick to that thing, you know, that makes it so personal and so necessary for you, then, you know, that's an innate reason to keep practicing right there. Um, and I think that that's something really important that can help keep you, you know, from walking away in those moments where you kind of hit the wall and you feel like you're being really challenged and you want to give up, you know, if you have a good reason that is true, you know, just for you, then maybe you won't, you won't quit, you know? That's great advice. Really helpful. Um, Tell us what you have coming up that you're excited about. Um, a couple of things. So I just launched the YouTube page. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm looking forward to kind of building that up and getting some good tutorials up there. 
Um, like I said, I'm not certified yet, but just, you know, the tips that I've learned from my own practice along the way. And I, you know, I just hope to be able to bring those to, you know, people of all sizes, but especially people with bigger bodies who feel like poses are, you know, maybe not accessible to them. I want to be able to show that, you know, with correct alignment and certain props and modifications that, you know, you can, you can really work towards any posture. Uh, so I'm very excited about the YouTube page. I'm excited about, um, Fractal Nine. She, uh, Christine from Fractal Nine just started the sister company, Fractal Nine Plus. Uh, it's going to be launching in May and I'm really excited to be working with her on that. Uh, I absolutely love her and Katie from Laneige wear very similar, um, you know, similar mission, making the, the leggings and the shorts for all bodies. And I just love that. I won't support any companies who, you know, aren't on that same page with me. And it's been, you know, just amazing to connect with them and other people who are kind of, you know, with the same goal in mind. Uh, so that's really exciting. And I guess just the teacher training, I'm really looking forward to that time is it's coming quickly for sure. Uh, graduating in May and that feels like it's more around the corner every day. Um, so I'm very much, you know, looking forward to all of that and just, you know, a new chapter. I feel like I've grown and learned a lot in the last year and, you know, it couldn't have come at a better time for me. Uh, so I, that's, you know, what I'm most excited about for sure. Well, you've got a lot going on and we're really excited to follow all your developments and see what you're doing. And um, we'll, I'll definitely make sure in the post where we share this video that we post some links to the Fractal 9 stuff and, and what's going on there yes, so totally. people can get involved. And I'm excited about those too. I have not tried her uh, oh. leggings yet, but um, I'm now I'm just going to wait a little bit longer and get uh, some of the plus-sized ones. I think that'll be so awesome. Totally. Yes. Um, so what's one last piece of maybe body positive parting gift advice for anybody that's watching this video? So my Best advice is going to be um, that you can either be your own worst enemy or you can be your best friend and your biggest advocate. And I've definitely been both of those things. And I think we've all been both of those things. And it's a lot easier to be the biggest enemy than it is to be the best friend. But I really have learned and am learning that there's absolutely nothing positive that comes from you know negative self-talk and putting yourself down is just not going to do anything for you. Um, and the truth of the matter is, you know, I tell people also, um, this is my new thing that I say <laughs> as of late is, you know, to, to treat yourself the way you treat other people who you love. Mm -hmm. Um, they say that the golden rule is to, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated. But I'm saying, you know, look at the way you treat other people who you care about, um, and the way that people who care about or who care about you treat you, mm. you know, why don't you treat yourself that way? Um, and so I, you know, I would challenge everybody to kind of think about that and, you know, try, try every day to find something, um, to love about yourself for sure. And even if you don't believe it necessarily in the beginning, you know, try and shift that perspective. And I would, you know, challenge you to kind of push yourself in that direction and may, you know, maybe come out the other side, believing some of those things, um, that you didn't before. Powerful stuff. Thank you so much. Um, so, so everyone, uh, big thanks to Dana for talking with us today. You thank you. Check out um, bodypositiveyoga.com. We'll post links to Dana's Instagram and her website and a new YouTube page and all the ways that you can get a hold of her on the interwebs. So we will see you around online, Dana. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye.